Okay, we're back here live at EMC World, day three. This is our final segment. This is a wrap up. This is SiliconANGLE's exclusive coverage of EMC World iWorld. Final segment, Dave. We've, I think we've broken the record on segments. We're over 50 something segments here at the desk. We've had our Studio B, which produced at least 20 videos. Um, probably an all time record. Um, this is the final segment. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. Dave, so wrap up, let's wrap up day three and then just do a kind of a show wrap up. Um, what's your take on today? Well, you know, there's a lot of good guests today. I mean, David Golden was fantastic. We, we ran the, the gamut with him, you know, talking about the Federation and his role, so I thought that was really good. I think, you know, to me it all comes back to the story of EMC, where it's a 23 and a half billion dollar company. We had Jeremy Burton on today. John, when we first met Jeremy, he said to us something to the effect of, well, we're a 20 billion dollar company now, and we're going to start acting like one. EMC's acting like a 20 plus billion dollar company. It's very impressive. A lot of international audience, as I said before, with the interview that we had with Stella, the new director of, or vice president of corporate communications. Um, and then, you know, the other thing, John, I was very impressed with uh, the heads of the quote unquote legacy businesses, Rich Napolitano, Brian Gallagher, those guys were on. They are on their game. You know, they're, they're, they're growing their TAM. They're not just saying, all right, we're going to get crushed by Flash and this Viper thing. No, they're saying, we're going to innovate. We're going to grow our businesses. I don't know if you noticed, but they were really excited yeah. about the future I of mean, their businesses. Gallagher was notably upbeat. Obviously, they had great keynotes. Napolitano got great rage reviews. Yeah. And, and Rich was probably the most keynote I've ever seen him in here. It was great. I mean, they're excited. And to me, that points to the fact that the overall growth of the market is net new business for EMC. And I think that there might be some yeah, mature marketplace, but certainly it's not in decline. It might be slowing, but certainly not in decline, obviously, from the growth numbers, and obviously the net new business. Um, so I'm, I was impressed by that. I was also impressed with Jeremy Burton again. Jeremy Burton came on, um, you know, guy's a madman, he's running around the show, doing all the things he needs to do um, as EVP of products and operations, as well as CMO. He's got a great team of people leading the charge here. Great messaging for EMC World. Their story is right on the money. They have all, they're hitting all the right tunes. Software-defined data center, fast and big data. Um, the, the abstraction layer, creating intelligence uh, into the apps, app-centric world where infrastructure is abstracted away, hardened, and the complexity is, is reduced for developers. This is the future, and I think they absolutely have the right messaging on where the business is going, the landscape is going, and you know, they are going through the motions. We have to still dig into it and do the analysis post EMC world, Dave, but clearly they have the product strategy. We will have to unpack that and we'll see what, where the meat and the bone shakes out. But again, very impressive from Jeremy Burton on the product side. In the marketing side, he's put on a clinic. Um, but also we had, uh, you know, we had um, an amazing interview with Josh Kahn and the solution side, great channel strategy, good messaging. But David Goulden, we peppered him. We covered a lot of ground with David Goulden. We talked about federation versus the conglomerate. And I think this was the first time that I've seen, or I, that's been reported, that EMC's actually was laying out the difference between a conglomerate and a federation, really talking about the nuances of corporate governance, and this is an indication of their strategy and how they'll be executing. And we'll see how Pivotal points out. Talking about valuation, talking about metrics, David Goulden was rocking. And honestly, ending the day with BRS, which is a lot of demand for that kind of content, and then hearing from uh, the comm strategy, a global perspective. This is the new EMC, we say it every year that they're transforming, David, and they yeah, are every I year. Mean, the one other thing too, John, as you know, I've been watching EMC, I've been known this company since the 1980s, and the one thing that hasn't changed is their discipline. I mean, they are really, you know, we've had, heard Pat Kelsinger say that Intel marches to the cadence of, of Moore's Law. It's like, well, it's almost like EMC marches the cadence of some kind of execution plan. I mean, it's quarterly business reviews. It's everybody holding themselves and their people accountable uh, to customers. Um, and so, we've also seen the evolution of the partner ecosystem, and I think it's a big deal. EMC has become the company, of course, with VMware, that people want to partner with. Uh, and really VMware is, as Joe Tucci says, the tip of the spear there, so that was good. And then the other thing that I think is, is interesting, we've been getting a lot of feedback, of course, from co the competition and some of the blogosphere, the whole notion of software-defined storage and Viper, laying out a new vision of, of, of platform storage, storage as a platform. Yeah. I think the vision is 100% right on. I guarantee, I make this prediction, John, within five years, that is going to be the predominant model of storage delivery 
you're going to see it from all the big companies. If you don't have storage as a platform, you are going to be a point product, and yeah. you're going to have to participate in some kind of storage as yeah. a platform. That past strategy is going to hit cloud, mobile, and social, and clearly I 100% agree with you, and you know, and the feedback on the blogosphere, and also from the competition, which you know, we're covering on siliconangle.com, we are not going to just let EMC have this. We're going to actually hold their feet to the fire, and you know, Jeremy Burton told me last night, hey, we welcome that, and he is not afraid to say, hey, this is our messaging, we will deliver, so he welcomes that. We had NetApp uh, post up, they gave us a response, we posted it, but the competitions are screaming, it's a press release, it's a press release. Their messaging is good, Dave. It might be a press release, but they are introducing products and they are messaging that, so we're going to... We're gonna, well, we're I want to talk about that a little bit, so if, if I may. Uh, so we got EMC, they put down their, their, you know, their, their position. HP's got OpenStack, and I think there's no question in my mind that Viper is competitive to OpenStack. David Floyer said this, it's, it's absolutely clear. Um, you got IBM. IBM has put in charge uh, an individual who is not a storage guy. It's like, it reminds me of John Rose, okay? Uh, and so, I think you're going to see IBM make some moves here. I've been saying that now for a while. Steve Mills is engaged. We, just, we covered that flash ahead uh, event you know, very closely. So I think watch IBM as a company with resources that, that can participate. NetApp is another one. NetApp has to make some moves here. And they've got some assets. You know, they are big enough and smart enough to compete. You know, they don't have VMware, they don't have this you know, huge giant ecosystem, but they're smart people. So they've got to make some moves and I think they will make some moves. And I think, think EMC, IBM, HP, NetApp, are certainly the ones to watch there in the platform game, as well as Amazon, John. We covered Amazon AWS Summit, we're going to be at reInvent. Amazon, I think, is changing the notion of platform, as we said, API into the data center, we're talking API into storage, and I think that no, there's no, by no means has EMC won this game. This is like the first shot across the bow. And there's a lot of work to be done here to actually make this a reality. People criticize, ah, it's just the press release. There's more than just the press release. I guarantee you that. Having said that, there's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of coding. We asked David Goulden about investments in this area. You had a great conversation that you started with him on M&A. And then I said, oh, String of Pearls, you've got to do something in, in, in Viper in that area. And he said, no, no, we're really good, it's going to be organic. And he said, well, you know, we might make some small acquisitions, some small tuck-ins. That's so, not their move, though. They yeah. don't normally make small acquisitions, and that's not his MO, but it's some interesting. That's yeah, not true. Yeah. They do they make some tuck-ins, they call them tuck-ins, you know? They make some big ones, but they make a lot of small ones, too. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, obviously the organics the focus here. It's going to be software and the tech. And Joe Tucci, again, is impressive. <laughs> he, you know, the summary of the show, in my opinion, is, is the, the command and control of Joe Tucci. He is the commander of this federation. You know, I think of federation, I think of Star Trek, Captain Kirk, you know, that's, that's Joe Tucci, right? He's out there leading the, the, leading the, leading the charge, and Goulden Spock, you know, Gelsinger <laughs> is Scotty in engineering, <laughs> you know. And so, you know, this is the old Star Trek, not the new Star Trek. But, uh, you know, that's to me the way it is. And they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna travel around and add new things, and Pivotal is the acid test. If Pivotal works, the Federation will be validated as a business model. And what I caution uh, EMC on is, is that in Silicon Valley, these mashups have not had a good track record. If you look at all this, uh, the kinds of mashups, HP spun out Telogen, and you know, we put the, all these little companies together that, that look good on paper, but don't materialize on the execution. If they can execute, Dave, that'll be very, very impressive. Uh, again, Joe Tucci is nailing it in the, the key messages. Error one was the mainframe, error two was you know, client server, PC, internet, and error three is mobility. And helping clients move from error two, operate error two, and move to error, the error three, the modern era, is their focus. Well, I'll tell you what else nailed it. The Cube nailed it this week, John. Well, over 50 segments. Uh, we had a big team here. Uh, we had you know, Jeff Kelly and David Flores, Stu Miniman on the analyst side. Um, Winston and Alex doing the Studio B, uh, Andrew, Mick, Kenny, Kean running the show, Mark Hopkins remote in Dallas, Kristen and her team, and just really thanks to all you guys, you know, Bert, all the writers, Kit, uh, uh, everybody, Maria, uh, Ryan, Brian, go crazy. I mean, I absolutely love you guys. <laughs> the coverage that we've gotten is tremendous. And, of course, the big news of the day, Shane Robeson on theCUBE live uh, exclusive on yeah. SiliconANGLE. Go check out yeah. youtube.com slash siliconangle. Check out siliconangle.com. 
uh, the reference point for tech innovation. Check out wikibon.org for all the research. Everything's free, no yep. firewalls, no paywalls. Great job for the team bringing in that Skype interview on the fly and ad hoc audible. They actually responded to our blog post and wanted to get on the record through Silicon Angle exclusive coverage with the Fusion IO. That's a shout out to Keen and Alex and the team and Mark back in the ranch. So great job there. Dave, great to work with you again, guys. This is a wrap from EMC World. A new era of computing is here. A new business model with the Federation of EMC. We're going to see how this plays out. A lot of sizzle and we're going to look for the stake and we're going to be following uh, EMC as well as everyone else out there in the storage business and beyond. Big data, storage, converged infrastructure, emerging technology, all covered on siliconangle.com. That's the reference point. Go to wikibon.org for the research. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see uh, you next week at ServiceNow, Sapphire, and Google I.O. This is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the ceiling from the noise. Good night and see you at the next event. Thank you.